we have student data by quarter. And we need to take all their classes for a quarter and list them in a single cell using a pivot table. <laughs> Now, last video, we saw how to do it with Power Query. And we used Power Query because our data was coming from an external source. But if our data is already in an Excel worksheet, then it might be easier to use a data model pivot table and a DAX formula or even dynamic arrays. Here's our data set, student quarter and classes. Now, our goal is to use over on Insert a pivot table. But guess what? If we use a standard pivot table, the standard pivot table doesn't give us a feature that can take multiple classes and in a single cell concatenate them together. But guess what? Power Pivot has something called the data model. It's a behind the scenes columnar database that's designed to hold big data. Now, we don't have big data, but also in the data model are DAX formulas. And there's a function called concatenate x, which can take the classes and concatenate them together in a single cell perfectly. Now, the trick is this. In Excel 2016 or later, you have to have the right version to get Power Pivot. But I want to show you how, even if you don't have the right version of Power Pivot, how to access the data model and a DAX formula for our pivot table without having the right version. Now, let's go over to Insert. Click Pivot Table, or use the keyboard Alt-NV. And in our Create Pivot Table dialog box, this is the trick. Add this to the data model. We'll send this table back into that columnar database. And then right in the Pivot Table user interface, we can create our DAX formula. When I click OK to send this to a new sheet, I'm going to double click and rename this. There's our table in three columns. I'm going to drag Student down to Rows quarter down to rows, we get a unique list of all the combinations of students and quarters, including Sue, where we have only three quarters. Now here's how we create a DAX formula. And when we have a formula inside the pivot table, it's called a measure. Right click the table, and there it is, add measure. I don't even have to have Power Pivot ribbon tab for this. We'll name this measure student classes. Now we come down here concatenate, and there it is, concatenate x. Now, concatenate means it will join. The x means it needs to have a table to iterate over. So in the first argument, we'll type student. And there in the dropdown, I can see my table in the data model. All this table will do is it will allow the concatenate x to iterate it over every row in that table. And the beautiful thing about the data model and DAX is that that table right there, when it's sitting in the cell for quarter one Barker, that table will be filtered down through something called filter context, and it will contain only the records for quarter one Barker. Now the second argument, comma, the expression, well, we need to access that column. And now because I'm in an argument that accepts a column, I see in my dropdown, there it is, classes tab, comma, and our delimiter in double quotes comma, space, and double quotes, close parentheses. And that's our formula for the pivot table. Click OK. f of x means it's not a column, but a measure. So I drag it down to values. And just like that, I have what I want. Now, I probably don't want to see all of Barker's classes in a single cell. So I'm going to come up to Design. Subtotals do not show. Grand totals off. And there is my report. A few clicks, drag a few fields, create a measure, and we're done. Now, this is not a standard pivot table. This is a data model pivot table. And if you want to learn more about data model pivot tables, check out this comprehensive video. And if you want to see the other two methods for creating this report, Power Query or Dynamic Arrays, check out these videos.